Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Callie and today I'm going to be unboxing the first Owl Crate of the year. So very, very excited for this. So we're just gonna dive right in. All right, and hope nothing falls out. Ta-da! Okay, so I'm seeing a couple of cool things. This month's theme was Vengeance Will Be Mine. So this is our spoiler card. Very different print. Very Mulan-esque. All right, and now I'm seeing a bunch of boxes. So we have a nice little owl crate box here, which I actually think I know what this is. I think this was what was spoiled and is our next Harry. Yeah, it's our next Harry Potter mug. Oh, there goes the spoiler card. So nice and bubble wrapped. I have yet to be spoiled for what this looks like, so I'm super pumped. And it's just as gorgeous. So this one is based off of the Order of the Phoenix. So we have Grimald Place. We have the Thestrals leaving the forest. We have the battle in the prof in the Department of Mysteries going around the rest of it. With the archway. That's uh I'm digging it. That is really cool. These are just gorgeous mugs. I, I've only got this is my only my second one. So, but I use my oh my, I use the one that I already have all the time. It's gorgeous. They're perfect. They're dishwasher safe. The print is still pristine on my other one, which has been through the dishwasher several times because I drink too much coffee. So, highly recommend these mugs. They're beautiful and they're just so original and they capture the like perfect parts of the film that they're representing. So next, it looks like I got socks and they are Crooked Kingdom socks. Oh, this is kind of neat because I think a couple boxes ago we got just Six of Crows socks. So we have now a Crooked Kingdom set, which, you know, it's gonna go right in the cute little mug. They're they're really cute. They've got that, got the crows, probably of the Grishaverse symbol on here somewhere. The cards, the dice. We have some squiggles. Ooh, okay. <gasps> okay, I'm in love. Oh my God. I am so in love with this. So we got a second, we got another pin banner and it is in the map of Lord of the Rings. We have the Misty Mountains, Mirkwood, Smaug, the Lonely Mountains, the Grey Mountains. It's just beautiful. I'm going to be too scared to put pins on this because I'm just going to want to stare at it. This is the most amazing thing. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. I am a huge Lord of the Rings fan and that just speaks to my soul. So next, oh my gosh. So next is a candle from a Court of Candles called Lighter. So I think lighter is in reference to shadow and bones. We got two Grisha verse things in here, I believe. So it's a nice yellow color. So it's supposed to smell like orange, yuzu, and evergreen. I don't really know what yuzu is. Oh, and there's glitter. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. Probably not, but there's glitter. And smell the orange. It's almost just like a very fresh citrus. I love keeping little candles like this just around my bookshelves because I think they're cute. But that actually, that smells really nice. It smells very fresh and like, I don't want to say spring, but very citrusy and fresh. Next, we have this cute little pouch that says Owl Crate. And so not really quite sure what this is, but on the front, it says, you've got words in your soul. So it looks almost like a pocket watch. Oh, so it's like a little mirror. And then like it has little compartments inside of it, which is kind of neat. I don't really know what I have that, that that is this small to be able to put in that. Maybe like earrings or something, but that's about the only thing I think I'd be able to fit in that which maybe that's what it's for, who knows? And we've got some more squiggles. We have our pin, which goes with our book. We'll go with the pin first, switching it up. So I'm pretty sure they're still doing this where the pin goes with the book. So, oh gosh, spinning on a lot. 
Oh, this is neat. So it says blood to blood, name to name, bone to bone. And it's a very nice enamel pin. It's got that very mirror quality in case you can't tell. Um, and like a very nice navy blue going on. So then we have our book and our author letter. So we have our author letter. So the book is Scavenge the Stars by Tara Sim. So I'm really excited. This is supposed to be, this is a Count of Monte Cristo retelling um, in a fantasy setting. So I am a little underwhelmed by the cover change. It is a very nice cover. I just think that this one is just a tad nicer, but either way, they're both pretty nice. We have, it is signed per usual. I'm really excited. I've never read The Count of Monte Cristo, but I know it's basically all about revenge, 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 revenge. And I love angsty revenge stories because I think they're fun and create lots of banter and lots of tension that is just perfect. And I get into those kind of moods where I just need angst and revenge and all of that. And this will satisfy that. So very, very excited to give that a read. So we have our author letter, and then we have our oh so wonderful newsletter, which has now started coming out with playlists. Um, they have, there's a bunch of like different games in there, different information about the vendors. So very cool. So I'm a liar. The candle is actually from Children of Blood and Bone, not Shadow and Bone. And lighter is a very common type of magic, apparently. So the last thing that I'm gonna go over is the next, the card for next month. So our theme for next month is a power within. So, and it looks like every February box will include a deck of playing cards inspired by Throne of Glass. So I'm very excited for that. I love this print that they have included. Throne of Glass is one of my personal favorite series. So any Throne of Glass swag I can get my hands on, I am happy with. So it looks like that is the last of this box. I think this box was really strong. I am obsessed with this Hobbit pin banner. It's going right up on my wall. Um, the candle smells really good. The mug is pristine and amazing and with beautiful art. I mean, just the compact mirror is pretty cool. I don't know what I'd put in it, but we'll, we'll see. I'll throw it in my purse and see what happens. Um, I am really excited for the book. Um, like I said, it sounds like it's just full of revenge and angst. And sometimes you're just in the mood for revenge and angst. So that's going to be it for this unboxing. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, all of our handles are down below, so feel free to check any of those out, and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!